Hi guys, welcome to Short Notes. In this lecture, we will be discussing two methods to draw branding moment diagram. Here we are having a beam with three concentrated loads of 10 kN and at a distance of 3 meter and 2 meter from the edges. Now, for drawing shear force diagram, we need to know the reaction forces. So, the first rule is reaction forces. According to the equilibrium equation, the forces in x direction are zero, the summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero, and the summation of the moment in the beam is equal to zero. So forces in x direction, there are no forces in x direction acting. So it will be zero automatically. The forces in y direction, there is a force that is reaction of A plus reaction of B that is equal to zero. If I am considering the reactions, so this is the A part and this is the B part. Now RA plus RB is equal to 10 plus 10 plus 10 that is 30 kN. So it is 30 kN. Now how to write the moment equation? Consider this beam as a representation of above problem. Uh, I am fixing it at A. So the first moment, the first 10 kN will be dropping down the beam in clockwise direction. So it will be clockwise positive. Second 10 kN it will be dropping down to clockwise direction then again clockwise positive. 10 kN is also dropping down to clockwise and then clockwise positive and then RB dropping out down to anti-clockwise that is anti-clockwise negative. So then for the summation of the forces I must say that the first force 10 kN at a distance of 3 meter so it is 10 cross 3 then 10 kN at a distance of 3 plus 2 that is 5 meter that is plus 10 cross 5 then 10 kN at a distance of 7 plus 10 cross 7 then RB at a distance of 10 minus RB at a distance of 10 should be equals to 0 now solving out this equation we get RB is equals to 15 and since from the first equation RA plus RB is equals to 30 so RA is equals to 15 kilonewton now since we are having both of the reactions RA and RB as 15 kilonewton and 15 kilonewton I must put it there 15 and 15 now Drawing a reference line for shear force diagram. This is my reference line for shear force diagram. I must draw the shear force. At point A, I am having a 15 kN upward force. So I will be drawing a 15 kN force. Then from A to the first loading point, I am having no alteration in the force. So the line will be going straight towards the first loading point. At first loading point, I am having a drop down of 10 kN. I will be dropping down to 10 kN means 15 minus 10 that is 5 it will be 5 kN now up till next force 10 kN I am having no force so from this we will be having a constant force that is 5 kN and at the middle load we are having a drop down of 10 kN I am going from 5 to minus 5 drop down of 10 kN minus 5 now till the next point I am having the same minus 5 now at the next point we I am having again a drop down of 10 kN so I will be dro dropping down to again minus 10 that will be minus 15 minus 15 kN and I will be going up straight up to the the last point where RB is equal to 15 is acting and RB is 15 in upward direction so I will be coming up back from minus 15 to 0. So this completes our shear force diagram. The first method to compute bending moment is the area method. In this method, we calculate the area of the shear force diagram and then plot the bending moment. I am considering this as a reference line of my bending moment diagram. Starting with point A, from point A to the next loading point, let me be consider it at C. So I will be calculating the area under the bigger rectangle AC. The height of this rectangle is 15 and the length of this rectangle is 3. So the bending moment at point C will be 3 cross 15 that is 45 and now I will be having a straight line till 45. Now coming up to the next diagram up to middle of the section. Now I will be calculating the area of the middle rectangle that will be 5 cross 2. 2 is the length of the beam and 5 is the height of the rectangle. Now 5 cross 2 is 10. Now I will be adding this 10 to the 45 which will be in the positive section of the shear force. 
45 plus 10 that will be 55 and now I will be plotting it up to the 55 mark. Coming up to the negative side of the rectangle, now coming up to the negative shear force, I, will, I am having a rectangle which is having a height of minus 5 and a width of 2. So it will be minus 5 cross 2 that will be equals to minus 10. And now I will be subtracting my 10 from 55 that will be 45 again. So I will be going to this point and it will be 45 again. Now coming up to the last rectangle which is also in negative. Its length is 3 and height is minus 15. So it is that is minus 45 and now it is going up to be minus 45. This completes our bending moment diagram very easily with area method. <coughs> now let us see the second method to draw the bending moment diagram. I name it as carry load method because I am carrying the load from one point to other point. Now I am having a reference line for the bending moment diagram as AB. On this reference line, the first load is RA that is 15 kN. So I will be carrying this 15 kN to a distance of 3 meters. That will be making it up 15 cross 3 that is 45. So the first bending moment diagram will be appearing at the first loading position that will be of 45. Now at this loading point, the another load 10 kN acts which is acting downward. So it will be minus 10 into 2, minus 10 into 2 for the next point. At net re next reference point, I am seeing that 15 kN load has moved 3 plus 2 that is 5. So at the next point, 15 kN load will be having a 15 into 5 and 10 kN load will be having 10 into 2 minus that is 15 into 5 is 75 and minus into 2 that is 20 that is 70 minus 20 it is coming up to 55 so at next we are having a bending moment of 55 at the top now this 10 kN load is again traveling at a distance 2 and previous 10 kN load is traveling at a distance 4 so it will be minus 10 into 4 minus 10 into 2 2 10 kN loads one traveling at 4 another traveling at 2 and 15 kN now is traveling at 3, 2 and 2 that is 7. So it will be 15 into 7. This whole of the equation solving out to be gives up the next load that is 45 kN meter. So now the ne at the next point I am having 45 kN meter. For the last RB again a 10 kN load is present. For this 10 kN load the distance is 3. So it will be minus 10 into 3. For this 10 kN load the distance is 5. So it is minus 10 into 5. And for this 10 kN load the distance is 7. So it is minus 10 into 7. And for RA which is 15 in positive direction. So the distance is 10. So it is 15 into 10. Now 15 into 10. Solving all the of these equations I get 0 as a resultant so bending moment comes out to be at the last point which is 0. So from RA to RB bending moment changes from 45 to 55 again 45 and then 0. This solves out our bending moment diagram in the second method carry load method. Now if I compare the both of the results from carry load method and area method, there is no difference in the calculation of bending moment diagram. Hence, both of the methods can be used appropriate to the conditions.